Elon Musk has been hyping up Tesla's Battery Investor Day for quite some time now, as he even went as far as to state that Battery Day will be Tesla's most exciting day in the history of Tesla. Most recently, Tesla launched a page for people to sign up for the virtual and in-person event, and on this page, the company revealed a strange but interesting background behind the title page. In this video, I'm going to explain why this background may be a subtle hint at the groundbreaking technology Tesla will unveil on its Battery Day. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this, and let's get right into it. Fred Lambert, who writes articles under Electrek, recently did a reverse Google search on Tesla's battery background. The results he found were fascinating, as it revealed that the image was similar to silicon nanowires, a battery technology that has incredible potential for improving performance. One of the primary developers of this technology is Amprius, which is conveniently located right next to Tesla's Fremont building. In this building located at Fremont, Tesla has been testing a pilot production line that is manufacturing its new battery. We haven't seen any confirmed ties between Amprius and Tesla, but a partnership would make a lot of sense given the location and the background of Tesla's Battery Day signup page. Either way, Tesla's leak of its silicon nanowire battery is extremely exciting for many different reasons. Amprius first starts off its unveiling of its silicon battery technology with a strong but bold claim. Why is battery technology evolving so slowly? Over the past few years, we've seen processors improve 15 times, hard disk capacity increase over 10 times, and memory capacity increase 8 times. However, battery density has not even increased by 2 times. Ultimately, this all ties down to the facts that batteries haven't had a technological breakthrough. Lithium ion batteries are great. They filled the world's energy storage for many, many years. However, according to Amprius, this technology has reached its limit. Electronics have improved exponentially due to evolving manufacturing technology, and batteries must do the same by switching up the chemistry. The main reason why lithium ion batteries have been limited in energy density is because the anode capacity doesn't have enough storage. For a quick overview, the anode and cathode are two different sides of the battery, which charge and discharge energy by transferring energy to one another. The problem with lithium ion batteries is that there isn't enough capacity in the anode. Carbon, which is stored in the form of graphite in lithium ion batteries, can only store around 350mAh per gram. This is enough for plenty of applications in the real world, but not impressive enough to transition the majority of fossil fuels to batteries. On the other hand, silicon anodes have 10 times more capacity than carbon anodes, representing a huge increase in storage capacity. The reason why silicon batteries haven't been released yet is because silicon heats up dramatically when the battery is charged. This is where Amprius' nanowire technology comes into play. Nano by definition is a factor of 10 to the power of negative 9, a number so small that we would typically count it as 0. In 2007, by thinning out the silicone anode so small that it's 1000 times smaller than the thickness of paper, Stanford researchers were able to prevent the silicon anode from swelling up and breaking down. After the researchers found this, Amprius was created in order to develop a technology for commercial use. Since the research report, Amprius has been improving the silicon nanowire battery for years and may be on the cusp of a commercial reveal. Today, Amprius's nanowire batteries have shown incredible results. One of the primary benefits is the high conductivity and connectivity. Amprius' battery has no tabs whatsoever. By having no tabs, this lowers the charging rate substantially while improving performance. The second benefit is higher lifetime. Amprius claims that its battery has shown quote-unquote excellent cycle life, which links to the facts that Elon has been hinting at a million mile battery. By having a higher battery life, this will allow for longer lasting vehicles and more specifically, longer lasting robo taxis. When the Cybertruck was unveiled, many people were stunned at the strange design that was shown. However, the true groundbreaking part of the vehicle was the tough material. By having material as tough as stainless steel, the Cybertruck will last for decades without anyone really noticing that the vehicle has aged substantially. Just imagine driving around your 10 year old Cybertruck next to a brand new one, and both of yours looking the same. With a lifetime in the millions of miles, Amprius's battery allows electric vehicles to last a long time while retaining a high driving range. Finally, the last benefit that I'm sure many of you were expecting is energy density. With the highest energy density in the world, Amprius's batteries are set to revolutionize the world as you see it. Amprius estimates that its batteries have an energy density of 500 watt hours per kilogram, far higher than any battery in the market right now. To put this into perspective, 
Imagine having your cell phone double its capacity right now. It's difficult to imagine because we've never seen anything as revolutionary as this battery. Now many of us don't need 700 miles of charge on an electric vehicle. After all, most of us only commute 50 to 200 miles a day. Because of this, Tesla will be able to shrink the battery size to keep the range at 300 to 400 miles, which lowers the battery costs by a significant amount. With these three key benefits, it's extremely difficult to see Tesla ignoring the battery the whole time when the company is a few hundred steps away from the Fremont factory. Now that we've covered this exciting battery and all the benefits coming with it, we must analyze the potential applications. According to Amprius itself, the battery will allow for improved electric vehicles, aircrafts, drones, and even satellites. As I've covered in a recent video, Jeff Don, Tesla's battery research partner, has stated that vertical takeoff and landing jets require an energy density of 400 watt hours per kilogram. Since Amprius's battery has an energy density of 500 watt hours per kilogram, believe it or not, the technology is ready for supersonic flight. Along with this, imagine the amount of impacts the technology would have on drones. As of today, drones provide plenty of commercial and entertainment applications. However, the fact that many drones can only last for 60 minutes and require hours of charging is extremely troublesome. With Amprius's battery, drones would instantly have the charging time decrease while increasing the amount of time you can fly your drone. Last but not least, satellites are also a technology Amprius believes it can impact, but not any satellite. Amprius sees potential to increase the battery lifetime and density of high-altitude pseudo-satellites, which are basically high-flying drones. When attached with solar panels, these satellites can fly in the atmosphere for months, using wind to its advantage. While we don't have any confirmation on the Amprius and Tesla partnership, it still seems likely given a few hints. For example, Amprius claims that it completed its manufacturing equipment for high volume anode manufacturing in 2016. Just three years later, we then saw Tesla begin its pilot production line in its Fremont factory. Another hint pointing to a partnership is the fact that the two companies are located right next to each other. Tesla's building is at 901 Page Avenue in Fremont, California, while Amprius is at 1180 Page Avenue. The fact that these two buildings are so interconnected in technology and location hints at a possible partnership. Last but not least, Tesla hired an engineering operations manager at Amprius just one year ago. Yi Lei Chao, who has worked at Amprius for over 8 years, joined Tesla one year ago to work as a manager, but that's not the important part. While Yi Lei Chao was working at Tesla, he gave a LinkedIn recommendation to one of his former employees that states, Onward's responsible for many critical tasks which she completed effectively and in a timely manner. She maintained an important role leaning anode qualification for our pilot production line and acted as a bridge between the front end and back end of the production line. Yile has worked and developed Amprius's battery pilot production line which ended up having anode qualification for high volume manufacturing. Right after that happens, Yile leaves Amprius to become a quote unquote manager at Tesla. To me, it seems as if Yile may be the manager of Tesla's pilot production line and is overseeing the partnership between Tesla and Amprius. Also, keep in mind that Yile said all of this while he is working at Tesla and less than 3 months before Tesla publicly leaked the production of his Fremont pilot assembly line. The connection that's made here may just be exactly what we're looking for, but at the end of the day, we don't have any confirmation. Let me know what you think about Tesla's nanotech battery and whether you think Tesla will unveil a partnership with Amprius on Tesla's battery investor day. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.